More tonight on the good, bad, and ugly side of sequestration. Joining me to talk about the likely short and long-term effects throughout the county and in the political arena are my guest, Marnie Cox, chief economist with Sandag, and political science professor, Carl Luna. Welcome back, both of you. Carl, here. I have to ask you this off the front. Are Americans, are we really going to fall off this uh, fiscal cliff, or is this just kind of an extreme example of political posturing? No, we're going to slide down it at least a little ways, because these cuts go into effect tomorrow, and they'll, they'll slowly ripple into the economy and build up steam as you go. Congress and the president may sometime in March come back and wave their magic legislative wand and roll everything back to March 1st and undo the sequestration. Uh, my question is, is this going to roll right into the next debt limit increase for this, uh, the country and really put us in a hole? Have you seen uh, much evidence, Carl, of local industries here actually preparing for this, panicking? Uh, what, what, have, what have you seen or, or have heard about? I've heard that there are some notices of potential layoffs going off in some of these shipbuilding and industries related to defense contracting. School districts that were celebrating Prop 30 passing are now going, oh, great, we're going to lose a little bit of money we don't know about. I think everyone's waiting to see whether or not we're really going to go far into the sequestration problem or not. But uh, I've heard out in Norfolk, there's the discussion of people, 20,000 people whose jobs may be on the line in the region over the next couple of months. I've heard of border to, to patrol people who are being told they're going to be taking a 20% pay cut because they're going to miss a day a month. I mean, it's going to, or a day a week. Yeah, the pain's going to be felt. It's going to be real. Certainly here in, in San Diego, I've heard a, a whole lot about this. And Marnie, the county is heavily dependent on federal funding. What kind of county services are at risk uh, with this sequestration? Well, about half of it will be Department of Defense cuts, so the other half are social services. And I think, as Carl mentioned, for example, education, National Institutes of Health is another good example of that. San Diego has a very competitive um, set of universities here, research and development institutions that depend on those grants. So indiscriminate cuts across the border will hurt uh, a lot of areas. One that's just bubbling up, we've heard about the defense industry and education, is um, Airline security and local tourism. Marnie, what do you think that, could that really affect anything, uh, the, these cuts? Well, probably no more than other places. The airline security component, lines get longer, things like that. That's going to happen at all airports, not just San Diego's airports. So, yeah, there'll probably be a little more pain, right, but it'll be felt everywhere. So our visitor industry shouldn't be hurt any worse than any, anywhere else's. But we have a bigger visitor, visitor industry than other places do. So it could so be, have impossible. an impact. Yeah. Um, long term, not everyone believes this is a bad thing. I know, I, Marnie, I have heard that uh, there's some suggestion that sequestration might actually improve economic growth. Yeah, actually, as the Congressional Budget Office, sort of the nonpartisan look at this, has basically said that for one to three years, this is going to cause some pain, jobs will be lost. But after that time period, because um, you're spending money in areas that really bring no earnings back to the economy. Typically, when we build aircraft carriers or bombs or things like that, it's a dead end. Uh, but if you shift that money over to the economy where there's earning, that's actually what creates the growth. So in the long run, we actually have a higher rate of growth in the economy with sequestration, despite its inefficiencies and despite its you know, distractions, uh, than we would without it. Um Carl, last question. What, uh, how soon, if everything goes and we slide down that cliff, as you say, how soon till we feel the effects or see any cuts here in San Diego? Well, it depends on who we are. Uh, there are going to be some people who will feel it fairly quickly. People are going to be laid off from contracting work that's not going to be coming in. People will see their pay dock for taking involuntary furloughs. Uh, the ripple effect through the economy, by the end of the year, we'll probably all know somebody or felt directly some negative impact on this. The big question after that is who are Americans going to blame for the problem? All righty. We are out of time. Thank you both so much for talking with us. You can find out more details with our continuing coverage online at kpbs.org slash